All right. So I'm going to look at uh, this guy first. Walk cycle. I'm going to go through your reel and I'm going to go through the, the questions that you have in your email, which I love, by the way. It is all fantastically well detailed and uh, laid out. It's great. And then I also have the list in front of me of all the stuff you want to do. Um, let's go one by one since you also want to do a lot of um, cycles. I think for review purposes, what would be great, well, what I like for cycles is, in terms of presentation, and it's easier and faster for feedback, is A, I don't need a three quarter. That's going to always be at the end when you're done with the shot for like the final thing, but you know, it's always kind of camera specific. Sometimes you just want to animate to a specific camera to make certain motions just a bit better. But in this case, uh, it would be great if you have it divided in half. That's my half line here. We go. So walking front, but it's an orthographic front, not a perspective front. And then you have a side, also an orthographic side. Um, and that way I don't have to uh, go one by one here where you know you go through this and then that but you do want to make it orthographic just for a final detail you know foot placement and stuff like that um, that being said and even if I cut this um, part out here the main impression was uh, you mentioned you're asking if it's too slow I would say it's a good question I think yes it also depends what you want to do. I mean, you are mentioning it's a vanilla walk. For a vanilla walk, I feel like it has uh, some odd moments where the knees come in. There's a very fairly big dip up and down in Y, your TY. And there are very distinct pauses on the steps. It's kind of like step, pause, 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 pause. So it feels like someone who is more practicing a walk, like a, it's almost like a model that's kind of going, okay, I got to go walk this way and this way. Someone's really thinking about those steps. And something that's part of it is are those little um, pauses that you have. Just as, she, as she comes down. And it's subtle. But it's just something you can do to just give it less less of that pause feel. Also you have uh, very wiggly arms in terms of um, Elbow is a kind of poppy, you can see that hand so he pops to the right and then pops back to the left and so on and so on. There's a lot of wiggle stuff here and in the elbows. That's something that I would I would kind of look at. Same thing on your legs, there's some moments where it's bent, goes into a straight. Then you got those moments here where it kind of pops and you got those one frame moments where the leg kind of sticks in space and suddenly moves forward again. But looking at that in real time throughout the whole thing it's just ever so slightly poppy it can be smooth and just a hair these are subtle things I think the biggest things to me are the inward knees that are kind of too much this goes more into a character walk um, and then the locked arm bits the arm bits are the are the most jarring things the leg stuff is a bit more polished detail There's something also in the up and down that adds to that pause feeling where it's your up up up, sun down, and an up 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 up, sun down. And it feels like, I don't know if you're doing a bit of a stretchy thing in the neck. There's some moments, it might just be maybe in the movie here. There's something that feels ever so slightly, it's a subtle thing, but ever so slightly disconnected. Where this is one thing and this is another thing. It feels like you have the head on them, like a head aligned IK type of thing feels a slightly disjointed from the body. And especially given this distinct step, step, and up and down, up and down, you almost want to feel a bit more up and down, drag and overlap on the head. Especially like during those down moves, it feels like, especially during here, this is all one big unit that just moves down, as opposed to, at this point, a slight drag in the head a bit higher, boom, and on this down, the head will be a bit lower, come up again and so on. Not crazy overlap, not crazy jar jar up and down, but just loosening it up ever so slightly. Um, but those would be my main comments on this guy. We also have a lot of crossover on the feet as they go over there, which is again more into like a catwalk type of thing versus a 
vanilla walk. So you can kind of flesh this part out and make it more of like a little attitude driven character walk or reduce all those things and make that a vanilla walk. But other than that, it's good. I like it. Just the camera thing, how you want to present it. Um, and then here you're asking me to reel. Please let me know which two shots you think you should work on first. So let's watch this first here. I mean, obviously you know this, but I want to just go through that. Um, it's cute, and I like that. Um, it's interesting to see. I like that uh, presentation here with that volume. What do you want to do with the kid? Come down, and I like this a lot just because of in terms of elevation change, it's not all in a flat background or a surface. There's a bit of a change there that gives you a good sense of weight. Good little changes there on the posing on the legs. I like this one. I gotta say, I'm a fan of this guy. I think watching it like that, this is a bit bouncy on the head here and that whole aspect boing through that it feels a bit springy a bit rubbery that would probably be my uh, the main point I think for this guy hold on there's something in my audio that's something funky hold on alright and then we're going to the next guy here Interesting mechanics. It feels a bit draggy in terms of the length, but I do really like the posing in this section here and the timing of it. I think this is it's very cool. It's borderline referency. I'm curious what how you plan this part. It has a slight referency feel to it. That's probably so far my least favorite one, just because I'm not a huge fan of martial arts and song and dance and stuff like that, just because it it's mostly motion without a lot of character in there. Um, and especially so far as you go through, like I see body mechanics and pantomime and acting and dialogue and stuff like that. It's all super cool. And in terms of showcasing what else you can do, this doesn't really show much in, in addition to what you just showed so far. Like to me that I would just take that shot out. This one's neat, but it's borderline in the same category as as this. Not that you have a swing, but you have you you're showing a really good grasp of mechanics and nice posing and timing, which in this case is the same here. What I like about this one is that you go from land to air with a bigger swing, but not quite sure I'm buying the mechanics of she's not really going back that far, so for her to go back, even if that swing happens here, I'm not quite buying that she can get that far, but then again, that might be just too picky. Knee poses and everything, I like all that, but at the end of the day, looking at what you're presenting, I think this one shows more variety and timing and nicer poses. This guy still is just a bit more simplified. This one's alright. Um, I think with this, uh, the biggest thing that stood out Let's watch this here, hold on. Like, I like all this on Ugly. Ugly is a bit contained in the jaw area. So Ugly, she could have like a little sideways move in the head. Just something a bit more tied to the jaw and just to the audio, the energy of it. It just feels too separate. It's just, it's just an animation and then you just add a lip sync to it. That's how it feels. Just for that moment. 
and this feels super poppy. Just given how the, the beginning of the shot is presented style-wise, this suddenly is so pose to pose into his big move. Um, and then a couple of things where there feels so... A, it doesn't help that they only have four fingers. I'm never a big fan of four finger designs, but there's something where they're, they're very evenly spaced. It feels really defaulty. You're also having a tangent with her hair and the finger there. Just some awkward moments where even through here, it feels like it's just such a massive move. This is such a pop. And then you kind of stay. That finger just locks to that hair. And all of this, you're getting too close to her face. You usually don't really want to cover faces. So it would be easier if, if that hand would be here. And then you got the face. And and that, you know, that's your silhouette. If you squint, that's kind of what you see. This would be a bit cleaner. This guy also feels like you're... I don't know if this rig supports it, but uh, like a separate, like an IK head or head align or whatever those controls called, depending on the rig, where they feel just separated from the head you're through here again. Like there's a lot of movement in here, how she tilts over and goes up and down. That doesn't feel reflected in here. That the neck will go over there and then start taking that chest with her to start moving that C shape over there. This feels like this is one section that goes up and down, and this does a sideways tilt. So it's a bit of a head thing I would fix on this guy. But it's cute, but I'll, um, I like it as a shot. And you are, uh, possible AM shots. Thumbs down or thumbs up. A bit swimmy on the legs. IK-ish. Obviously they are IK, but a bit swimmy there. Cute it's not bad. It was is a little bit draggy at the end, I don't mind the beginning. But I agree that the ending is a bit a bit kinda eh, there needs to be something to it, some button, something's kinda missing. But it's also really relying on the audio. With that audio it would just be kinda eh. It's cute. I do like that jump and the timing of the of the hits and then after that, especially that hand is super floaty. Um but not too bad. Alright, you're asking. By the way, I love your presentation of all that stuff. Yeah, I can see what you mean. I think the execution is good. That is a bit poppy there. Not you know, not like there's a one frame pop, but it feels like the swings are very pop, 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 pop. It's an interesting timing there. Like that section feels it's almost pose to pose how both arms move and the heck that leg goes forward. It's a bit really poppy there. Again, not poppy as in a one frame pop, but really synced. Chuk, chuk, chuk. That's cool. I do love this part though. Getting up and bringing that leg up into that. That role is great. I really like that in terms of the posing, how clean it is and, and all that. Again, it feels slightly referency. In terms of the timing, it's a fairly real looking move. And then it goes back into this pop, 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 pop. It do weirdly high frequency up and down pops and his arms are, you know, like that. It doesn't, it feels like very contained. Like it's trying not to swing too hard. It's almost ballet dancery as opposed to like bigger bigger um, arm moves where you know after that big jump it feels less contained and not so flat armed with just the wrists overlapping and this just goes on for too long this was a bit too simple here this is slightly confusing as to, is he jumping on top of the tree? What is going on here? Like, that transition was a bit odd. Like, why is he jumping in the air? There's nothing that indicates the drop that you see here. That's cool. It's a bit soft. Mechanics are a bit funky. It's a bit slow. And the legs are kind of not moving at all, actually. It's a weird moment there. But I like the detail, the ideas of the slippage and that 
detail of irregular slippage and getting stuck and moving and sliding. That's neat. But then it goes back into feeling almost almost like a cycle gets activated and not quite buying the transition from here to here onto boom, like for this would be maybe potentially hunched over a bit more, just push it a bit more. And then again, and then it's weirdly cartoony where it's very fast and very poppy up and down on left and right swingy. Like this feels like a different character than what's introduced here in these moves. Like this feels very referency and real, especially all that stuff there. And then here it's suddenly a style break where it's just a different type of character. alright I'm not sure given what you have already if that shot adds a lot to it just going through in terms of the mechanics you've already shown so much in terms of what you can do I don't think this adds anything more that is better than all the shots previous on the previously There's some poppy things there, and again, it's just a dance thing where... And this is very subjective, I, I'm probably the minority in this, but... This is just movement, and it's not... It's not character, it's just someone going through steps. You know, clean poses and all that stuff, but I'm just... I'm more in favor of character-driven work. And again, given all the stuff you have, for instance, like the kid, uh, at the very beginning with the fishing, uh, you know, it has, I wouldn't say similar, like he's jumping and dancing, but there's still something where you already show me that you can do body mechanics, but on top of that, there's also pantomime and lip sync, there's just more to it versus this, it seems too simplified compared to what you have already. Alright. Don't mind this guy, actually, um, just in terms of variety. Looking through this, I'm a big fan of this. All right, do pantomime, facial stuff, and lip sync. This, I think, shows, you know, you have different pantomime things and, and run. Cool steps there, cool posing, I like all of this. This, no, uh, this guy would take out this guy. Not bad, not on my top list with everything else you have. I'm not saying that any of these are bad, I'm just saying that what you have before already showed off what you can do, they don't add that much to it. Now I like this guy in terms of quirky Q acting, why not? Could work, um, I'm just curious if that could be a shot with a bit more weight to it potentially doing a new one. This feels like an older shot compared to what you're doing here. This feels like the quality is higher. Your understanding of posing and timing is different than here. Again, I'm not sure what this guy brings that you haven't shown here. Uh, in already know all of this and her. This, I would still, I don't mind just seeing that section, this, that, that, and that into this is cool, and the rest you can leave out, but I like that section a lot. It's because it's also a bit of a variety of style, because, you know, the kit cartoony uh, versus this feeling more real-ish, where you know, some of the DreamWorks stuff feels sometimes a bit reference-y. Um, and also from the iAnimate aspect, a lot of their uh, showreel stuff feels referency, And even if it is not used, it just has that feeling and it's not very pushed. Compared to, for instance, take, um, I think Anim School has a very pushed sense of style. You know, anything that's like Blue Sky or anything, or it doesn't feel like that, for instance. But I like seeing that in a reel. Is, it, to me, it shows range. It's cool to have that in there. Again, I don't think you need all this. I don't think this brings anything to the reel that you haven't shown 
Yeah, same with this guy. I'll take that out. But I like this one because it is... You're mentioning that you might not want to have that because you don't want to... You're not ready yet. I think even what you've shown, I think this, this would be worth tackling. But in terms of content, I think this is definitely something you want to have on your reel. Two characters interesting, but also, you know, a bit more emotional, a bit more serious, a bit more subtle. Um, definitely something you want to have on there. So that would be, those would be my comments on on the reel. Now looking at your, uh, your, your cycle list, my question, these are the cycles you like to tackle. Are they, so are these just the ones you want to go through? and bang those out for exercises so that you've done them um because you're saying you create cycles to refine your workflow and to use for games and studio applications but which ones because it's a massively long list especially i'm confused at the lego man walk lego man jump um and i feel like that ties into your wrote with animal logic which I'm personally, again, this is just me, and I know this is just me because I ask around a lot. Um, I'm always in favor of having, let's pretend you have a reel with five shots. Or let's say seven, right? Let's go balls out here. You have seven shots. One of them in the middle is a shot that is relevant to the company that you're applying to. So if you have all those things, and in the middle of all this massive reel, you have one Lego shot. I know mine because you're showing that you did the research, you can do something that the company is currently doing, they're obviously doing Lego movies, so that they know, oh, 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 that person can do this, we can just plug that person in and, and work within the pipeline and, and the production. Every time I mention this at work, I mention this to other people at other companies, everybody says no. Because it feels like you're not original enough using other property, you know, standing on that property's shoulders to do something. You know, it's like... There are two things. A, it doesn't feel original. You don't bring your own ideas. And at the same time, you're showing something that a company has already worked on. And they're very familiar with it. So if you're showing something Lego, it has to be at least as good as what's in the movie. So you're going to be harshly judged. Um, and, you know, there's a big chance that, you know, whoever might do this. I think you're really good. I think you could be able to, to pull that off. But probably the majority of people wouldn't be able to, and then it might be a big, you know, big downer on the real. Like, yeah, they're trying to do this, but it's really, I mean, we're doing this, we know how this looks, and this doesn't come close to what we're doing in the movie. That person's just not ready. It's just a risky thing to do. So, that's my question to you. Is this because you want to get into animal logic, and that's why you're adding stuff like this? Um, would you be okay with not doing this? Again, I, I don't mind. It's obviously your choice anyway. Um, but from within within the experience that I have asking other people uh, it's always been shut down which is kind of odd but again I kind of understand the point of view but uh, anyway not to linger on that uh, you have all these like female human walk and run that's all good but there's some stuff with like a toddler crawl baby crawl toddler walk personality t-rex walk a Triceratops walk. Um, I mean, these are all awesome things to go through. Um, and this is just me because, you know, I don't know how fast you are. You're saying you can pump these guys two out in a week. If you have all that time and you can make it through that list, that would be awesome. Uh, I don't know that many people that will go through all of that and have the discipline and the time to do it. Uh, I think it would be fantastic practice and... and my only question is, do you want to go through all of them and just pick a handful to have on your reel? Do you feel like some of them are just there as an exercise and you don't feel like it should be on a reel? Um, and on top of all of that, you do have flight action and other pantomime. It's just a lot of work. Um, and you'll be the first one to be able to go through all of that at a really high quality and finish it all. Uh, looking at your reel, I think you have a really good grasp of principles and animation and posing and timing. I think I would not be surprised 
put it this way, with everything how organized you seem and and the quality of your reel, I think, yeah, why not? But I don't know anybody with such a list that has gone through that. So I'm just, from my experience, hesitant in saying, yes, do all of this, only because I feel like you won't have enough time. It's such a massive list. And on top of that, you have still the real stuff you want to polish and finish, plus new shots you want to do. Uh, it's just my initial reaction I'm concerned that you will run out of time. And maybe you want to pick certain things out of the list that you like the most. Um, but again, this is me being completely unaware of how fast you can be. So, as a whole, I think the list is great. Great variety. The biggest note will be, I don't think you should be doing Lego stuff based on my experience with other people and their feedback. Um, and in terms of which shots, I would do this guy for sure. And it's a good question. Like, if it's like this guy is pretty far along, just I'm keeping just that section here. Of course, you know, let me know what you think about all those. Like, you know, like I'm not a mac massive fan of this guy, and not a massive fan of this guy. But maybe you love those and you want to keep them. Um, I like this. I can see why you think maybe it's too long and you want to do something shorter. But I am in favor of doing something subtle and more emotional. Um, probably say this guy and this guy to be honest like I really like this, those two and then this guy I think we can do we could do another one if you do like in a brand new shot I would do something else with, with more weight that's a bit more within this type of realm type of, that type of character and facial stuff I think you can do you can show weight with also a lot of facial stuff to show the strain and the struggle. Do it more interesting than just this faceless creature. Um, but yeah, I mean that's kind of me. Those are kind of my my thoughts and ideas. You might be completely against everything. I'm just curious um, what you think, and I think we can start a dialogue after that. As to how you want to proceed and with what and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that is it. Thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.